Today in our 2008 Chrysler Pacifica, we'll be having a look at and installing the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector, part number C55530. Here's what our wiring looks like installed. As you can see, it's designed to be hidden in our storage compartment in the back of our vehicle when it's not in use. When we're ready to use it, we simply grab it from the storage compartment here, drape down some of the wire, lay it atop the weather stripping seal for our rear hatch, making sure it's to the side of our latch, and we can close our hatch on up. With this wiring being designed to be stored inside the vehicle when it's not in use, this will help protect it from the elements. We have this nice dust cover here that'll help protect it as well. Now this trailer wiring gives you the basic lighting functions that are required by law in order for you to safely and legally be able to tow a trailer. Off this white wire here, we have our necessary ground connection between our Pacifica and our trailer so our lights work properly. This brown wire here gives us our tail light and our running light signal. This yellow wire here gives us our left turn signal and left brake light. And then our green wire gives us our right turn signal and right brake light. Now as far as our left turn signal and our right turn signal and brake lights, these wires have a total power output of 3 amps per circuit, which is a sufficient amount of power to tow a small trailer. If we have LED lights in our trailer, we really don't need to worry about anything there at all. If we're running incandescent lights, if we have an older trailer, we probably want to limit ourselves to about two turn signals or two brake light bulbs per side. On our tail light and running light circuit, we have a total power output of six amps. This is sufficient to tow a trailer. Regardless of how many lights it has, we should have enough power there to tow a trailer with even several incandescent light bulbs shouldn't be an issue. If we have LED lights, nothing to worry about there. There's plenty of power output for those because LED lights do require significantly less power than incandescent light bulbs. What's great about this wiring harness compared to others on the market is that it plugs into an existing power source in the back of the vehicle, so you don't have to worry about running a wire all the way to your engine compartment to hook up to your battery. This will save you time and money in the long run. Now that we've gone over some features, We'll show you how to get it installed. All right, to begin our install, we'll start by opening our rear hatch. Now we'll remove our tail light assemblies. They're held in place with two T30 Torx bolts. Grab the assembly, pull it out away from the vehicle, find a connector here, there's a red lock tab, slide the tab out, push in on this black tab here, and then pull to separate. And we'll repeat the same process on the other side. Now we'll open up our cargo tray here. And in some cases, you may have a satellite radio module here. There are three eight millimeter nuts at the top. We'll remove these nuts. Lift up on the cover where we'll find our antenna and the power connector. We'll unplug these from the module, push on the tab with the antenna, pull back, push on the tab here for this connector. And pull back. And we'll set this aside. Now our carpet underneath that is held in place with one, two, and three plastic fasteners. Pop these up with a trim panel tool. Okay. Once you have it popped loose a little bit, you can just pull up on it and it'll come out. Passing our wires through it here. And we'll set this aside. All right, with the carpet removed, we find four 10 millimeter bolts, one at each corner. We'll remove these. Now we'll pull up on our threshold. We'll set that aside and remove our cargo box here. Set that aside as well. Okay, now we need to pull back on our interior panels here. 
To do that, we need to remove a couple fasteners. We have a push pin fastener here. Let's pop up with a trim panel tool. And then we have a screw here that holds in our cargo net hook. Now we can grab our panel and pull it on back. Now on the driver's side behind the panel, we need to remove our seat belt assembly here temporarily. There's a 10 millimeter bolt on the top. We'll remove that one first. Then at the bottom, we have a T50 Torx bolt. Now we'll lift up on it, pull it out, let it drop on down, and we'll pull out this rubber grommet that's behind it. With that rubber plug removed, we find a connector that's behind it, pull it on out, and we will plug in the power wire that comes off of our harness for our tow package wiring. Make sure it's secure. And we'll push in the red lock tab. All right, now that we have the power plugged into our module, we can hook up our tail light connectors. To do that, we're on our driver's side right now. We'll pull back on this grommet, just like that. Now, we'll take our driver's side T connector here. That's the one with the yellow, red, and brown wires. And we'll route this behind our panel and come out through this hole. All right, now we'll take a grommet and we'll cut a slit in it. All right, that'll work. Take our wires, pass them through the slit, reinstall the grommet. Now we'll plug in the male end to the female end of the vehicle. Pull that, make sure it's secure, and resecure a red lock tab. Now we'll take the provided black silicone and go over the slit that we made. This will prevent any moisture from entering the vehicle. Now we'll repeat the same process on our passenger side. And we'll make our connection. And push it in our lock tab. Okay, now we can plug our tail lights back in. And now we'll reinstall the tail lights. Now we'll come on back over to the driver's side and we'll repeat the same process to reinstall our tail lights. Now we'll reinstall our protective pocket here for our seat belt. Followed by the seat belt next. And now we'll take our 10 amp fuse here and plug it into our fuse holder. And we'll close the dust cover on up over it. Now we'll take our double sided tape Peel off one side of it, stick it on the back side of our module. Now we'll peel off the other side. And we just stuck it to the bottom side here behind our panel. This will keep it out of the way and we'll keep it secure. Now we'll make sure our four pole flat wire comes out from behind our driver's side panel here. And we can start reassembling all of our panels. Now our wire that goes over from our module to our passenger side, we're just gonna tuck it in this area here, and then our panels will cover it all up. Now we'll take our four pole flat wire, we'll stick it through the slot on the driver's side of our storage bin, and we'll reinstall our storage bin, making sure our satellite radio wires go back through the hole. Now for our carpet liner for our storage compartment, right here. We'll take a utility knife, 
and we'll make a slit. And through that slit, we'll pass our four pole flat wire through. Pass our satellite wires through the hole on the other side. And we'll drop this down back into place. We'll plug our satellite radio receiver back in, antenna, and then the power wires. Stick it down into place and re-secure the cover that holds it into place. And now we'll test our wiring. We're using a four pole flat trailer tester. It's part number I26 on our website. The reason we're using a tester versus just hooking up to our trailer is because if we have a wiring problem on our trailer, we won't be able to tell if our wiring is working properly on our vehicle. Start by turning on our headlights. And as you can see, our tail light and running light function is working. Left turn signal now. Right turn signal. Step on the brakes. Brake lights are working. And now we'll do our turn signals while our foot's on the brake. And as we can see, everything is working just like it's supposed to. And that completes our look at an installation of the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number C55530 on our 2008 Chrysler Pacifica. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.